Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I'm on a train right now and I'm going to a very artistic city. So stay with me. Okay, so since this town, little town that we're going to go to, uh, is a little bit far from the city center of Imola, I took a cab. So um, it's gonna take a while for me to reach there because it's a little bit um, not accessible. But um, yeah, it's gonna be a fun journey. Stay with me. Okay, beautiful people, I arrived safe and sound to Dotsa, a really small village close to Imola which is super cool and artistic. You're gonna see it for yourself. Just look at the view on my back. So Dutze is a really small place and uh, it's a very rich place for artists to showcase their work in a very peculiar way. It allowed all the artists to paint their art on the walls. So not in a graffiti form, but mostly in a, in a very artistic way. And this event happens every two years in Dotsa. So a lot of selected artists will come together in here, in this very town, and they showcase their art on the walls. Check it out. Honestly, as an artist, I find it extremely creative that you can actually represent your work in a live gallery in the streets where people are going and coming every day and they get to see your work uh, in a very untouched way. And uh, I find it fascinating in a way that, um, you know, it's communicating to people, you know, because art is meant to be for people and these, they are the main audience for an artist. So um, I think it's a very good way to connect with your audience. Okay, right now I'm inside Dotsa Castle, which is basically the city's castle. And it has lots of artworks and it has a wine factory. Let's see it. So before I come here, I try to get some information online about the place and about this artistic event on the walls. But unfortunately, I couldn't find something decent in English. However, I came here to this castle, which is called Rocca di Dozza, and they provided me with a brochure in English and also in Italian. 
So I'm going to tell you what I actually got from this uh, brochure and from this information that they provided me with. So the castle is called Rocca di Dozza, and it has an integral gallery called Museo della Rocca. This gallery represents and houses works and uh, artworks from the contemporary artists that are from the region or those uh, that participate in the biennial events of painting walls. The ground floor of this castle is dedicated specifically to the winemaking heritage because this town, this village, is uh, really famous for winemaking and wine tasting. There are lots of uh, grape yards around here and uh, they wanted to keep this tradition. So as I mentioned before, on the ground floor of this very castle, you can find a beautiful factory of winemaking and wine tasting. Stay with me, we will see it together. After seeing a very ancient castle with furniture from Renaissance and Baroque era, we are going to see some contemporary art on the open air gallery of the streets in Dotsa. Let's go!
something that I didn't know until I visited the city was that the study place that I just showed you is dedicated specifically to J.R.R. Tolkien. I'm sure you've heard of him. He is the writer of the Lord of the Rings series and this place is dedicated to the fantasy literature and for those fans that want to go deep on the topic. back home but first I need to get to Imola and to get back now this time I didn't take a cab but I took a minivan to this station that I'm standing right now and then I have to go back to Imola and then from Imola I need to take a train to Bologna thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this little vlog see you later bye <laughs>